what other factors would influence your decision about this ideal duration? It depends for me almost entirely on commitment at every level. So things that you are willing to develop at every level tend to have a longer running impact because everybody mm -hmm. understands the same kind. It's sort of like shooting an arrow from the guest all the way into the corporate CEO office, right? Boom, we just nailed it all the way through, easy pass. When nice. I get hired by, and this has happened, I've had to fire three times. Um, bosses because I I am here you. not for and if you want me to come in to teach your team how to be better uh, my guess is probably there are some gaps in your understanding and if you're not willing to participate in that growth and development I'm not willing to do your work for you so yeah those are much longer uh, commitments, much more expensive commitments. If I have to play the part of CEO, because the CEO doesn't want to be in the room, valid, but expensive. If you're hardcore strict, but anything beyond that, anybody who offers anything less than a one year guarantee isn't really that serious or really isn't that confident about the results they can deliver. I think that's really what it is. Balancing what you are confident you can deliver. For example, I do a 15 minute clarity session. I did mm -hmm. them originally as part of uh, development when I was in operations management and when I was in executive management, I then used it as like my part of my funnel for coaching, like here's this cute value give. And I realized after four years of doing it that I had had a challenge on the table. If you can bring me a roadblock and it was originally a business one, then it became literally anything in your life, your existence with your kids, Kids, with your family, with your work, whatever it was. If you can bring me a roadblock that takes longer than 20 minutes to get resourceful and make a plan of actions to move forward from, I'll gift you 45 more minutes. So you commit 15. And if I can't help you get to where you need to get by the end of 20 minutes, I'm going to give you 43 times that. Nice. I get it. And return on investment. Here you go. Right. Right. I like that. Uh, I might I might steal that. And, and I'm saying this publicly. This is where I got it. I got it from Kara. OK, so um, let's uh, let, let's pause for a sec, because I want to go down the path. You were talking about operations management. So can you can you tell me a little bit more about Kara before Kara, the Genki coach? Yes, Um I, this is fun because I've just been doing a deep dive with one of my coaches on my timeline. So this has been really fun. I took my first dual certification course when I was eight years old. I have been groomed for leadership literally my entire life. My first management, full-time paid management position, I had a team of five and I was running a burger stand in Mexico. So not only was I 15 and in charge of five other people my age or older, uh, I was also in charge of the product of tracking the counts of running the till. And in a, in a language that was my second language, I, I was still pretty fresh to living in the country and well I learned really quick I learned food really fast <laughs> I bet yeah uh, so I have been over 25 years in operations management and uh, a better part of a decade doing uh, development for operations up to C-suite and in that space, creating training programs within within a company. I was creating training programs so that when we onboarded new managers, we could get them all to the same place. If we were promoting from within, we could get them to the same place. And we had trackable metrics for each of the levels that we needed. So I've been doing it a really long time. The biggest problem I found as an operations manager is the corporate standard of hour long one-on-ones. And this is fascinating, uh, post pandemic. So in 2022, they did a big study on businesses and asked a whole bunch of them about development. 83% of businesses know that the fastest path forward is to implement development at every level of the business. Some of those businesses have actually implanted development at every level. And I think from my point of view, one of the big gaps is development is centered in the corporate world around these hour long one on ones. Well, as an operations manager who had over 100 employees, if I'm doing hour long one on ones with each of them and running a business, that's a quarterly review. And if you are developing your people during a quarterly review, that is gross. Please stop. 
nobody wins. So yeah. I came up with this clarity session, this 15 minute session. And then as I went through, I got, uh, I got put in, I was able to add in emotional intelligence because I got emotionally intelligent certified. And then I was able to add in the coaching when I got certified as a coach. And now I have this system that I use a standalone uh, micro or laser coaching is the, I think the term for those kind of coaching. So I can do it as standalone coaching. I can teach it to other leaders so that they can gain back 45 minutes out of every hour and actually be able to develop rather than just wasting everybody's time. 